The days of needing a full recording studio or expensive gear to make videos are over. In fact, you don't even need to be on camera anymore. With AI, you can create realistic avatars, 3D cartoon avatars, make them move, and edit entire videos without ever showing your face. In this tutorial, I'll show you the full workflow from creating your avatar to making it speak, move around, and appear in a YouTube Ready video. I will let my partner pick it from here. First thing first, you need to decide the mode of a character you want to create. This is perfect for branding. Decide whether you need a realistic avatar or a 3D cartoon avatar. Once you decide, this takes us to the next step where we need to create an avatar itself. Now, the tool that we're going to use to create this avatar is OpenArt AI. You'll find the link in the description below. Once you're on OpenArt, what you want to do is come to Characters. Now, once we are on Characters, we have three options of creating our avatar. The first option is by describing it the way we are imagining it. The second way is by uploading a reference image. It can be your own personal image or any image of any character. Or we can start with four plus images with different clothing and different poses. In our tutorial, we're going to start with a description. Now here we've got uh, three things that we're supposed to do. Number one, we need to give our character a name. I will call our character avatar. The second thing we need to describe our character. So I'll paste in this prepared prompt that I have have if you need it comment prompt and i will share it with you then the final thing we need to choose the style of our avatar so there are a number of options about nine of them so we'll select 3d then we'll click on preview and open art will display three different options where you need to select your character from so if you do not like the options that it has generated for you you can still click on the regenerate button now if it were you which character would you choose let me know in the comment section below i would love to hear from you so we'll pick the first character then we'll click on a create character once our avatar is generated we're going to click on it from here we're going to come to prompt and reference this will allow us to create more images of our avatar so we're going to paste in a prompt that describes what our avatar is currently doing. Once we paste in our prompt, we're going to scroll down a little bit. Then here we'll need to choose the aspect ratio. So we'll type in the standard aspect ratio for a YouTube thumbnail, which is 1280 by 720. From there, we're going to scroll a little bit at the bottom so that we can select the number of images. We'll go for full, then we'll click on create. And in a matter of second, our character is ready, up and running. This is just so beautiful. Give it a thumbs up if you're enjoying what you're seeing. If you still do not like the images it has generated for you, you can still click on create and it will regenerate another set of images for you. Now, before we animate our avatar, we can bring it into Canva and touch it up to make it more personalized. Here we can adjust the background, remove it completely and add our own personalized background. We can also add some props like a mic, a books and a laptop. We can also insert some text or a logo for branding purposes. We can also change some lighting filters or add effects for a custom look. Canva gives a lot of flexibility to style your character exactly how you want it before you start animating it. Now that we are done enhancing our image, this takes us to the third step where we need to animate it. So we'll download this image and we'll go back to OpenArt AI. Now here what we're going to do is we'll come to videos. Now once we're here, there are three things that we're supposed to do. Number one, here we need to select a model. When we click on the, this option, we've got a number of models that we can generate our videos from, but we'll select clean. From here, we need to drag and drop the image that we've just enhanced in Canva. Now here we're going to paste in a prompt that says a cheerful girl speaking directly to the camera using gentle hand gestures as she talks. Then we'll scroll down a little bit. We'll leave the creativity level at five. Then we're going to select the duration of our video to be 10 seconds. From there, the quality of our video will select select pro for that high better quality then here at the bottom we're going to add negative prompts so just click on the plus button in the negative prompts we're going to say exclude any blur visual distortion or an unnatural looking ai generated hands from there we're going to click on create for it to create our video okay so our video is ready let me play it for us to see the way it looks
Okay, is that not beautiful? If you have reached this far, subscribe to our channel because more value awaits you. If you still see distortions and other negative hand movements, what you can simply do is click on generate again and wait to see the results that it will provide you. Now, once our video is generated to make it talk, move and do other things, what we can simply do is number one, let's download it first of all into our PC. Now, once it's downloaded, there are two more things that we are supposed to do. Number one, the first thing that we're going to do is we'll come to Dream Cloud AI. This AI tool allows you to lip sync your 10 seconds video with your three minute audio. So what we're going to do is we'll click on generate avatar video. Then from here, we're going to upload our 10 second video that we've just downloaded loaded from OpenArt AI. Once your avatar is uploaded, you'll see it here. Now you have two options, either to type or paste your text here or to upload an audio file of your original voice or an AI generated audio file. So we'll click on audio and we're going to upload our audio file or our video file where we would love to extract our audio from. And once it's uploaded, we just have to click on generate. Once our video is generated, we're going to find it here where it says completed. Then we can play our video to see the way it looks. OpenArt AI has once again delivered impressive innovation. You can now generate multiple consistent characters with a single prompt. Previously, we were limited to just one character per image, but now you can create scenes with multiple characters, all looking the same across different images, poses, and styles. This is just so amazing. Now, to make our avatar stand up and walk around, what we simply have to do is, number one, download this video into our PC. Now, once the video is downloaded into our PC, what we want to do is to extract a frame from the last second of this video. We can achieve this by using editing software softwares like CapCut or Premiere Pro. Or we can also use online tools like Video Friend Extractor. The choice is all up to us. In this tutorial, we will come to Video Friend Extractor. Once we are on Video Friend Extractor, what we want to do is to upload a file that we've just downloaded from dreamfest.com. Once the video file is uploaded, what we want to do is to scroll to the last second of this video. Once that is achieved, what we want to do is scroll down a little bit and click on this extract button and wait for our images to be extracted. And once your frames have been extracted, what you want to do is scroll down to the bottom and download the last frame of your video. Once the image is downloaded, what you want to do is come back to OpenArt AI. While this video is still selected, we're going to upload that same image that we've just downloaded into OpenArt AI. Once the image is uploaded, we're going to paste in the details that describes the action happening to our scene. Here, we want our character to stand up and demonstrate with hands or wireless talking. Once that is done, scroll down a little bit, select the duration to be 10 seconds and make sure that a pro is selected. From there, click on the plus button here to add negative prompts. Once you insert all the negative prompts, what you want to do is click on create for your video to be generated. Okay, so once our video has been generated, let me play for you to see the way it looks. Okay, that's just so amazing. What we're going to do now is download it into your PC. Once it's downloaded, come back to Dreamfest AI, upload your video, the one you've just downloaded in OpenArt AI. Once it's uploaded, come to audio, Upload an audio file that you specifically want to add to this frame. Once the audio file is uploaded, what you want to do is just scroll down and click on generate. And once your video file is generated, what you want to do is download it into your PC. And once it's downloaded, the final thing is to blend all these video files together using CapCut. Now you can keep building your scenes like this one clip at a time, making sure that the last frame of one video blends naturally into the beginning of the next video video clip. Now, once you're on CapCut, what you just have to do is upload all the video clips that you've generated of different poses and different actions. Drag all your clips into your timeline in the correct order. Trim and align them so that the transitions are seamless. Play it through to make sure it flows naturally. If it looks good, export your final animation. Now, creating realistic talking avatars with motion and expression might seem complex at first, but once you get the hang of the workflow, flow, it becomes second nature. Using Canva and other AI tools along the way helps you polish your avatar and make it stand out even more. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel because more value awaits you. God bless you.